Welcome back, you beauties. Thank you so much for dialing back in as we continue to celebrate and I suppose really cast a light on World Water Day with Fritz and Maximilian Cite, two brothers on a mission to promote water access as a basic human right. Let's just start there. They're about to embark on an insane mission, a second attempt to set a new world record by running only 60 kilometers every day for 200 consecutive days. Just let that sink in. I think I can feel the lactic acid already. The inspiring journey will not only unite people, but also support Aviva Con Agua's Wash in Schools program, which is amazing, providing essential water, sanitation and hygiene services to those who desperately need it. And trust me, in South Africa, many, many children do need that. We are also joined by Pumalela Mutuli, um, Mutali, rather, uh, Viva Con Agua, South Africa spokesperson to learn a little bit more about their Nina Manzi or Wash Bus project, which is amazing. I, I try to keep the, the intro as long as possible, just to give you a rest, just so that you can <laughs> sit here and chill. Um, what's wrong with you guys, man? What <laughs> I, I was joking earlier, who lost the bet? Um, whose idea was this, Fritz? Because these sorts of crazy missions generally have a light bulb moment behind them. What was that light bulb moment that got you to, to just take this on board? Yeah, I think there's some, like, some wires in my brain that whenever I hear about such things, um, I'm on it. Like, oh, how far can I run? How can I do that? <laughs> no, it's, and, and yeah, I was literally, um, I was doing also another um, challenge, a triathlon, also for fundraising. And then it was a friend of mine who told me about his idea to run from Cape Town to Cairo. And I think everyone else at that stage would have been okay. Like, yeah. You do you, and and I was like, okay, where, like, how do I join? How do we make this happen together? Um, so it was me being on. It was I was already on a bike trip, um, also in in Africa, um, cycling. As, as one does, yeah, yeah. As one does, yeah, uh, cycling at ten thousand kilometers um, through southern and eastern Africa, and on this trip, it was sort of the next thing where I, I realized, okay, I can. Like I can deal with all these challenges that such adventures bring. Um, I sort of enjoy this physical challenge, and I, with that, I can draw the attention and people, yeah, people listen to to what you say, and you can um, you can steer that attention towards topics that are that are important and that need the attention. And it feels like this is universal. I'm, I've got to ask, so, so he's the crazy one. That begs the question, what's wrong with you, man? Because you're just, <laughs> you, <laughs> did you not look at him and go, nah, oh, this yeah. is insane. No, obviously you had to back your bro. Yeah. You, you jumped on board. Different kind of mental prospect when you're doing something that no one's done before. Exactly. How do you prepare yourself for something like that, that you know, let's be honest, is going to be 90% <clears> percent mental yeah um, the body you can push through all sorts of mm. things but the brain is a different beast altogether how are you guys kind of wrapping your head around what you got to do mm, yeah I mean definitely the mental aspect is bigger than the I, it's not bigger than the physical but it's definitely there and you're like um, you can't really prepare that's the thing you throw yourself in there and you know in 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 our lives, we think we, we have control over everything. You, you think you have control going on Tuesday evening to sports and then on the next morning to, to work. And we all live in this kind of thing where we think we have the control over these. And you throw yourself in these projects and really feel that you can't control it. And that's one of the biggest things in there. And mentally, you you have to go through that. It's a process go, yeah, uh, yeah. in the beginning and yeah. And you've got each other, which is going to make a massive difference for good or for yeah, bad. Exactly. You've got each other right yeah, next yeah, to you. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to tie each other uh, together. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, you are on the other side of the world, mm. raising issues in a country that so desperately needs this connection. Um, when we talk about water being a basic human right and the mission that you and your team are on right now, you couldn't have hoped to find a better pairing, um, a better ambassadors, better warriors to go out there and fight your cause. What is that cause? What mission are you wanting to achieve? So first of all, I have to say they are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we've we found amazing collaborators in Max and Fritz. They they have such a genuine heart for access to water, um, and I say this everywhere I go, every time I speak about them, because it's so true. Mm -hmm. um, so 
what we do at Viva Con Agua is try to bridge the gap between policy and reality. We all know that water is a basic human right enshrined in the Constitution. It's also a resolution of the United Nations. But for some reason, well, for <laughs> a lot of reasons, <laughs> um, it's just not a reality in the lives of so many people in South Africa, especially in rural areas, um, peri-urban areas. And we try to fill that gap one way or the other. We've got projects that deal with infrastructure, that's the Wash in Schools project that you mentioned earlier on, um, where we rehabilitate, we assess, rehabilitate, maintain school infrastructure um, in schools in Bulungula in the Eastern Cape. Um, and we try to empower the schools and the children themselves to do that even beyond us being there because we don't want it to be an initiative that depends on us or any and other. And we know agent. how many initiatives like that fall down because you don't empower the recipients of that. That, that mechanism completely. I've got to ask you because you're you're running across all sorts of terrain, but it's the people that I would imagine are going to really drive this. When when you do these kinds of missions, what does it feel like when you when it gets real and you start to see the communities that you're helping meet the people that will help ultimately benefit from the shift in baseline? What does it mm -hmm. feel to be doing that once it's actually started and you start to see the effect of what you're doing? I mean the overall, besides water, the overall motto and what we're trying to communicate with this run is that actually people are great. And no matter in which circumstances you are, no matter how the communities are run, which challenges they face, I think once you get yourself out there and we don't, we don't have a support car, there's no big walls, there's no fence, there's nothing protecting us or there's no barriers. It's just literally a genuine human connection that is there just because you're there on your own efforts. Like you come there with your own tiny little act. Yeah, it's, and, it's a spiritual passport. Up. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And, and that's, it's such a genuine connection. Um, and to see and also to understand like on eye level, okay, where are you coming from? Where am I coming, coming from? Like, we're facing challenges, you're facing challenges, and maybe we can learn from one another and just support one another rather than being like, oh, I impose that onto you and I impose For that sure. onto you. It just opens up like a common ground from that you can work together. And having these experiences with people um, is just the most beautiful thing. Yeah, man, and, and that validation will go so far within those communities, if you think it matters to you guys, you know, when people realize the extent that big brands are willing to go to, to get it right on the base level, strangers that they've never met coming from a completely different reality are willing to go to, well, let's say ridiculous lengths to prove a point, <laughs> but please look after each other, look after yourselves. I know yeah. you've got a, an incredible brand behind you, driving this in the most practical way on the ground. This is gonna help, in my case, a lot of young children especially have that basic human right and that's what we are here for uh congratulations exactly. gents i'll speak to you on day 150 uh, about the <laughs> mental body aspects of this particular <laughs> challenge um, but we're going to uh, continue this conversation on our social so you can get all of the details on where they're going and how you can support